Welcome, everyone, to the very first iteration of Leagues Leaks Daily. If you didn't know, Jagus has announced that for basically the next two weeks, they are going to have this advent calendar style of uh, leaks every single day. They're going to be releasing something new. We don't know exactly what it's going to be, um, but there's just going to be some new information coming out for Leaks 4, which, of course, is going to be dropping in November 15th. That's just two weeks away, uh, maybe even less. So... Day one has just started. Every single day, we're going to be covering the new leak, going over it very quickly and just kind of talking about uh, possible use cases. And today's very, very first drop is the Trickster Relic. What does this do? It's basically like botting, okay? You get so much insane AFK methods to train some of the worst skills, okay? So let's just go through what the Trickster Relic does. You will automatically re-pickpocket your target. That means if you just pickpocket something once, you can go over and over and over again. Loot from pickpocketing is doubled and noted. This is going to be so useful. Uh, anytime you're um, trying to pickpocket monsters for their drops, so like Vyres to get the blood shards to use for like an amulet of blood fury, or um, if you want to do that for the prif elves to get, you know, crystal shards, your coin pouch limit is multiplied by three. This means that, uh, you know, if you're pickpocketing men or guards or whatever, uh, you're actually going to be able to go not up to 28, but you're going to be able to go up to, I believe that's 84. So uh, just, again, pickpocketing AFK for even longer. You'll just click it once and boom, you can sit there for like two and a half minutes. You will be given the Sage's Greaves that will grant agility experience that scales with your agility level while running. Um, I think this is actually an item in like RuneScape 3. It's Silverhawk Boots to just give you agility for running. Um, and now it's added to old school RuneScape Leagues. You can just run around and passively gain agility experience. It's a completely um, zero time skilling method now. You just have to wear the boots. Box traps, so this is for Hunter when you're doing Chinchampas, will lure creatures faster. And also remember, everybody has access to Chinchampas um, on Isle of Souls, but if you wanted to do red Chinchampas, that would need Kandarin or Tyranwind for Prif, um, and then black Chinchampas over in the wilderness. So box traps will lure creatures faster, as well as the loot from box traps being doubled, so you'd get twice the amount of Chins. Impling jars cannot break. This is great if you wanted to go to Puro Puro um, or, you know, have some friends tell you where all the dragon implings are. You can burn up to nine logs simultaneously. So this is the Forest 25 event where apparently you can do bonfires with nine logs. Just chuck them into the fire. Uh, go nuts. This is going to be crazy fast experience, but uh, all right, you know. And the big one, you cannot fail actions for thieving, agility, hunter, and fire making. Um, oh my god, I can only imagine how many use cases there are for this. But really, to me, what sticks out here is because you cannot fail actions for thieving or agility, you'll probably be able to do some mobs that typically you wanted to wait for a higher level, or in the case of agility, um, a course that has like a very, you know, um, high chance of failing. So like, I know the Apatol course, for example, when you first get there, uh, you actually tend to fail quite a bit. You typically want to wait a little bit longer. Um, and this is just going to make basically, as soon as you have the level for it, you can go nuts. Um, although again, if you're going to be doing like, if you're going to be doing agility, you probably don't want to do any tasks for like laps. You don't want to be doing 2000 Apatol courses because you're getting all of your agility experience completely passively. For thieving, this is going to include things like master farmers. You can get these going at a very, very early level uh, and just, you know, get your Ranar seeds, get whatever you need from them. Um, and again, when you're doing like Vyres and stuff like that, you're not going to fail that. You're just going to click it once and then you can go uh, to the bathroom and do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, and of course, no more pesky chinchampas running away from your box traps because you cannot fail as well. So as soon as a chinchampa gets in there, uh, it's not going anywhere. It's stuck. So I'm absolutely in love with this relic. It reminds me a lot of how exciting it was to see Endless Harvest, which was kind of like an AFK relic for gathering. It would automatically bank uh, any resources that you got from mining, fishing, and woodcutting. And this feels uh, kind of the same idea. It's it's like a very AFK way of doing um, thieving, agility, hunter, fire making, which are, um, you, you know, these are these are personally, I hate all these skills. So <laughs> this is awesome. 
Uh, the only thing that I would definitely recommend you do is just be careful if you're picking regions where you're going to have to do a lot of agility training anyways, because, uh, you know, like, let's say you did have to do like a bunch of hollowed sepulture um, because you're going Mauritania, or maybe you had to do a bunch of Apatol agility courses if you're going Kandarin. Um, you know, just keep that in mind that like, you, you don't want to overlap because this is basically going to give you all the agility experience in the world uh, completely for free. And definitely if you're going somewhere that has chins, so mainly Kandarin, Prif, and the wilderness the very good relic and also we have no idea what tier this is going to be or what other relics this is going to be competing against but uh yeah i would definitely expect to see a similar um botting levels of afk added to the game that's it for today i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks so much